Lawyers welcome move to swear in more judges. The move by President William Ruto to swear in six judges rejected by his predecessor Uhuru Kenyatta ushers in a smooth working relationship between the executive and the judiciary. Lawyers say six, the six com comprise four judges of the Court of Appeal and two judges of the Land and Environment Court who were left out by, the Kenya by Kenyatta over integrated issues when he swore in 34 others in June last year. President Ruto had vote to swear in, in the judges in immediately if elected and made the good promise. The new president has also promised to enhance the judiciary by three billion every year for, for the next five years. The move in a safety for previous regimes, which established judicial funds and made it subsequent to executive, retired Chief Justice Maraga, who was at State House Nairobi to witness the swearing of in of the six judges, had a tough time had a rough time with the executive of a budget cut, disobedience of court orders, and at some point, mistreatment during state functions. Lawyer Benson Milimo said, Dr. Ruto's administration has started on a positive note. If it goes on this way, we will, see, we will be seeing heads of constructing consulac has opposed us to addressing one another through press conferences, he said. Mr. Benangetich, a former LSK council member, said Dr. Ruto has done bad things visited upon the judiciary by President Kenyatta administration. It was illegal to refuse to swear in six judges. What the new president has done is commendable, he said. Sire Governor James Orengo tweeted that there was no justification at all frustration the appointment of the judges. Some of the best judicial brain has congratulated the six judges. An independent judiciary is a problem, he, he said.